Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be discussing on what controller rotation is and what it's about. The controller rotation option was implemented or made sure showed its first appearance in Operations Phantom Sight, to what I believe, which in which introduced a new turn for console players. Before we go into it, I want to make sure that you are clear. Yes, you that you are clear that the settings that you have are your preference and there's no right sensitivity. Now that's out of the way. What is Thanks, controller rotation? Okay. Well it changes how fast your analogs, hey center and that's endpoints move. Let's break it down if you, have, you don't understand. The analog sticks are already in the center if you notice it. If you move it slightly that's the center point moving while if you move as far as you can, oh, shoot, that's the end points moving. Are you guys playing right <laughs> To find controller rotation, what you want to do is go to options, options again, and you want to scroll all the way to controls. Right? And so, right under right stick dead zone is controller rotation. You're given two options here. You're given classic, and you're given updated. And what's the difference between them? Well, the main difference is that they're the opposite of each other. Here, I'm going to show, to show you in the next clip um, what, the, what the differences are. And so, we're going to go to options. We're going to get the exact sensitive, sensitivity for both of them, so it's fair. But we're going to go like 40, 40. And probably like 55. And then maybe a 37, 36. Alright, so first we're going to go classic, right? And so when you spin around, it's pretty fast, right? And then you're trying to move, I'm, I'm, I'm slightly budging it, and it's moving very slowly. You can tell it's very slow. I'm in the circle, I'm going to use the endpoints to make a circle. Right? This, it's not consistent. I'm, tr I'm doing the exact same thing, to, rotating my right analog stick around, and it's not doing the, it's not consistent. It's really, what's the word? Rigid. It's more rigid and rough around the edges, and so it's not that, it's not consistent. It's not consistently the same. And so, same sensitivity is 40, 40, 55, 36. We're going to go to updated. We're going to do the same thing. So if you check, it's actually slightly slower, you can tell. I'm pulling, putting it all the way down. It's slightly slower than classic. And I'm trying to move it very slowly, budging it, right? It's actually moving faster than classic. Now, I see if we can do the same thing. And if you look at it, it's consecutively making the exact same um, Circo without moving anywhere. I um, what is it? I recommend that you do the exact same thing. Test it out. Like same sensitivity. Do this. Do a full circle with the right analog stick and see if it changes it in anything. Anything. And so, with this test, you can tell that updated, it's slower. Like this. If you're holding it down fully one way, it is completely slower than classic. When you have classic on. You go, you go a little bit faster, right? And then when you try to move it slightly, it's that it's pretty slow. And some terraces outside. And so you go to the updated, and it's actually faster, right? When you try to move slowly. And so with that test, you can definitely see that classic looks like it has a faster rotate, right? Which it does, it does. For spinning around in circles, yes. But slightly moving it, updated has the more firm grip on the take. Alright, just so we're cutting, uh, I've heard them um, s describe what updated feels like. Updated is more of a smooth look. It doesn't like, it doesn't change. It's com it's consecutively the same. So it's consecutively, consistently. So after that test, you, you know what the difference is between both of them are. So the next test I'm going to do is, is there, I'm going to check if there's any differences in recoil between classic and updated. I'm also going to oh, be changing up oh, was, the, the. I'm going to use a low sensitivity for both of them and a high sensitivity for Go both, outside. to see if there's like any differences here? involved. To see if you get punished for each for having a slower or higher Gross. sensitivity. All right. So first, we're going to use Twitch. We're going to use the muzzle brake, vertical grip, and a cog on her gun. And it's high recoil, so it should be pretty hard to. Do. It's, it's one of the hardest recoils to control in the game. For our, especially for a console player. So we're going to use classic instead. But at first, this is what the classic looks like, remember. 10 meters away, because most engagements are typically 15 meters and less in Siege. So you shoot. It's not that hard to control the recoil. 
shoot, it's pretty easy to control. It does jump a lot horizontally. It keeps jumping left and right. You can see that with each um, test grounding. It is pretty hard. Hey, this one's a pants. Alright, we're gonna get updated. And now we switch it to updated. And it's same settings, same defense settings, sa same distance, 10 meters. Shoot. And it's actually. What would it say? More control, I would say. It is a, a lot harder, though. Just because you have more. The more you pull down, the harder. The more you just go straight down. So it looks like you're punished for having a higher recoil for updated. You can see that. Oh, you can probably get used to it, but. I do have difficulty just because I'm not pulling it down as much. I, I'm pulling down too much. To say. And so, yeah, that's the, that's the thing with updated. It gives you more of a better chance at controlling recoil by slightly pushing down instead of pulling down, unlike classic. We're gonna go with the slower sensitivity. We're gonna go with 25. 25, let's see, 45 and 35. Boom, now we're with the classic. 10 meters away. And it's really hard to pull down. You have to fully pull down. I'll do, I'll do 7 meters. Right, yeah, pull down hard. Because it's a lot slower. Center points are slower. So you can see that from shorter distance, yeah, it might be easier. But for like 10 meters, it jumps up. And you can't you have to pull all the way straight down. You want to control the recoil. So we're going to update it now. Yeah. Now that we've switched to updated. As you can see, same recoil, I mean, same sensitivity, 10 meters away. Right? It's a lot easier to control with a slower sensitivity on update, it looks like. And so, look at this. The second one is really good recoil control, while the first one, it's mediocre, right? Did, so it looks like you get, you don't get, pu you, blah, 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 blah. you get punished for having a higher sensitivity on updated, and you have a punished for getting a lower sensitivity on classic. So if you were watching, um, Classic was on the lo okay. left side and then Update was on the right. First it was low the sensitivity and it was high sensitivity. Okay. Though, jump. through my calculations and looking through the statistics, it looked like okay. um, for Updated, if you had a higher sensitivity, you would have a more you, have, you would have more control where the gun would go. Even th it doesn't matter if it was low recoil or high recoil. But it was the opposite for classic. For yeah. low sensitivity, you would get punished because you couldn't control high recoil because it's hard. So <laughs> there's that. Problem. So my hypotenuse is that yeah, um, high sensitivity for updated uh, is uh, it's hard to, to control hard recoil. Machine. While <laughs> on <laughs> classic low sensitivity, <laughs> it's harder. So it's punished for the opposite of each moment. other. <laughs> I literally waited, waited so long. So my preference between the two. It, no, it's, my preference is updated because I just been using it long, um, been re more recently, and I I do like how it's slower on the endpoint. I do like the classic, but I do not like the classic's um, fastness. I I do honestly like classic's center point slower point. So I wish no. it was both. If the updated had both <laughs> slower and slower <laughs> endpoints and center mm. points, just so because more accurate. I like that more personally. Wow. So in conclusion, oh. I, personally I think no. update gives you a no. better chance of controlling <laughs> recoil by pulling down less because it's faster on the center point. While classic gives you the chance of pulling down more to control recoil. Classic gives you the edge of turning around faster because you, you can do 180s faster if someone's shooting from behind you. While update gives you more of a closer flick like ADS. Of course it depends on what you do. Because, for instance, if you're on ADS, they flick to the person and re ADS. Yeah, no, that, in that retrospect, you can thing. flick faster with classic. <laughs> on accident, that one. For <laughs> and the question remains though which okay. one is better? Um, or which one you should choose between the two? 
I recommend updated if you're more of a newer player because it gives you it, it gives you updated first, but um, because it, it's, it's more smoother than classic, it's more classic's more rigid and rough. And for older players, I, I, you typically use classic, so you stick with classic. I do recommend to test out both of them, test out classic, test out updated, see which one you like better, and maybe you like the other one instead of what I said, or recommended. So don't you don't have to follow my advice. Just do your own testing and see which one you like over. And that's it. Thank you for watching the video. Like the video if you thought it was helpful. Dislike it if you don't think it was helpful. Subscribe if you want to see more content or something else. Comment down below if you want to see something else. Thank you for watching again. Goodbye. Stay cryptic. My wiener's so small.